This is, I guess, the first official YouTube video. Welcome to the channel. So I thought for my first official YouTube video, it would be cool to do something outside of my um, outside of my comfort zone. So I made these frames. I made these back in September of 2020. There's five of these. I planned on stretching canvases over each one and then doing five different colored sour patch kits. That were one, two, three, four, five. Like, and you could hang them in a row. It would be a set. But I think what I'm gonna do instead. The canvas that I'm going to work with for this project is unprimed canvas. You see how it's kind of see-through? Which means the paint is going to soak into this. It's not going to lay... It's not going to lay on top of the canvas. Brush strip... It's going to be... It's going to be different, but I'm excited. <laughs> I'm really excited. So, i got to stretch this canvas onto this frame, and then we'll get to painting. These are the best kinds of pop tarts. Brown sugar cinnamon's fine. Strawberry's fine. The wild berry, the purple with the, you know what I'm talking about. This is the best pop tart, hands down. It's like my childhood in a pastry. The next thing I have to do is take this canvas, wrap it around the frame, staple it, starting from the insides, working my way out to the corners. The corners are the worst. This is gonna be cool because a lot of people ask me like how to stretch a canvas. You're about to see the process. I, I enjoy stretching canvases sometimes and then sometimes i don't you know it's like sometimes you want to brush your teeth before you go to bed you know you should and you do but you, sometimes you just don't want to stretching canvas is the same way to stretch a canvas there's really only two three maybe four things you need you need staples a staple gun and canvas pliers i use these sometimes i don't always most of the times i just use my hands we'll see if i actually use these these are canvas pliers specifically because regular pliers tear through the canvas. These have this like rubber grip here, um, which grips the canvas. You can pull it, you can stretch it without tearing through the canvas. You learn something new every day, kids. So like I mentioned before, we're starting from the middle of the canvas and then work our way out. So it's better if I show you than if I keep stumbling over my words. <laughs> Stretching canvas is an art, and I'm sure there's some like fine artists out there who are freaking out about how loose my process is <laughs> stretching this canvas, uh, but this is how I do it. There's definitely a right way to do it, and there's definitely a wrong way to do it. But I don't think there's a perfect way to do it. I live by that. We're to the point where I'm close enough to the corners where I can bring you guys in and show you how I do the corners of the camp, which is the hardest part, but it's kind of low key the funnest. So. <laughs> Right. Look at those corners. They're done. That's all that matters. They might not be pretty, but they're done. Okay, this is our uh, our finished canvas. You hear that? I always spank my dough. That's how you know you did a good job. That's how you know you got the tension that you need. I think what I'm going to do with this canvas is I'm going to paint like a black base and then paint a portrait on top of it. I think that's what I'm going to do. But that's gonna be a different day because I'm sleepy. It's 3 a.m. So good night. It's now day two of the unprimed canvas painting. What I plan to do tonight is to make a black outline base, whatever you want to call it, uh, on the canvas. I'm working at like the wee hours in the morning. That's what I'm getting inspired. So I'm gonna set the canvas up, and we're gonna go for it.
base coat is done. Painting on unprimed canvas is so different. Like, look, it kind of just sits on top of the canvas in places, but then it soaks in and like bleeds through other places. I really like the way these like whispers. I'm gonna call these guys whispers, like these right here. I like those kind of incorporated throughout, so we'll see how it turns out. I'm stoked. Good morning. Uh, it's actually morning for once, and I'm not working at 3 a.m. <laughs> I just made some coffee. I woke up um, about two hours before I had to be at work, so I figured I'd paint a little bit. Let's paint. You see this this beautiful merch? There's paint on this one. I think it looks pretty dope. Paint scratches and whatnot. So this is actually going to be in my shop as well by the time this video goes up. On to the painting. I sketched out the portrait that I want to paint. So I'm going to get started on the portrait itself. I think I'm going to do it in gray tones with uh, with some red, some deep like maroon and red accents. Let's get started. There's no. There's no good place to put my coffee. Hold on. Okay, so this is what we have so far after I worked on it for 30 minutes. I have to go to work. Time completely flew by. I want to finish this when I get home tonight. I'm, I'm really, I'm excited about this. The way the colors are just kind of separating from each other and I can really scratch and get texture with the brushes. I don't know. I'm geeking. I love it. I love where it's going. I'll see you guys tonight. All right, so I am home from work. Let's get to painting. Be like super loose with these brush strokes I don't want a whole lot of detail not not in the way that I like typically have detail this is a complete side note but I am I am absolutely in love with these brushes right here I'm in love with these brushes these brushes are meant for like edging I got them from Lowe's um, but they're square. They're not like your normal, normal flat, let me show you. They're not like your normal edging brushes, right? Like where they're flatter, it's a complete square. And so what that gives me the ability to do is like do wide, thick um, strokes, but also like turn it on this thin side and get really thin, precise edges. I, this is the only brush I've used on this whole paint, and that's a lie. I used a little tiny brush for the nose area, but for the majority of the painting, I've only used this brush, and I, I couldn't be happier. I freaking, <laughs> I love this brush. I feel like I'm just going on and on. Me, me and this brush are in a, me and this brush are in a semi-committed relationship. It's complicated, but it's not an open relationship, that's for sure. I don't, what, what am I saying? What am I saying at this point? I just paint, Justin. Just paint. Paint the picture. Laying out the bricks now As if you need a wall Just stop the fall If you can't forget Take a quick look and settle your regret I love the way this thing turned out. I love it, I love it. 
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this style of video, uh, let me know down in the comments if there's something, some more details that you wish I would have gave in the video. Let me know that too. Like I said, it's my first, first video on this channel like this. So let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, it helps out if you don't follow me on my social platforms. Until the next painting, I'll see you guys later. We're gonna take our brushes real quick and we're just gonna beat the devil out of it. I miss Bob Ross.